hello uh, this is a model of the ovary uh, showing uh, the three types of phases that the ovary will go through every menstrual uh, cycle and uh, we are going to start with uh, looking at the what's known as the primordial follicles these follicles are stimulated by the hormone follicle stimulating hormone released by the pituitary gland the follicles will change to uh, what is known as the primary follicle and uh, the primary follicle will develop into what is known and shown in here as the secondary follicle and uh, the development of the follicles will uh, lead to uh, what is uh, shown in here as the mature follicle uh, this is also known as the gravian follicle or vesicular valve follicle and uh, the space uh, uh, is full of fluid and in the lower portion in here we have the oocyte and the oocyte is uh, surrounded by cells uh, called corona radiator the second phase is the ovulation phase and uh, that is stimulated by a hormone known as the luteinizing hormone or also called ovulation hormone which will lead to the release of the egg from the ovary and uh, what remains from the mature follicle is shown in the model in this section in here and that will lead to the development of the third phase which is known as the luteal phase and uh, is represented in here by what is known as the uh, corpus luteum uh, the corpus luteum will remain active as long as the egg is fertilized but if the egg is not fertilized then the corpus luteum is going to change to what is known as corpus albicans and which is commonly known as scar tissue so those are the three phases follicular phase, ovulation phase, and the luteal phase that take place in the ovary of the female every month and associated with two major hormones, follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone.